the solution of what we are facing nowadays is to build your connection to your grade. Like, for example, if I will consider you as my best friend, definitely I will know you, your background, because I want to be close to you. So, if you love, you know, if you love your creator, you have, you, you must be, you be obsessed to, you know, to know your creator, to discover about him. Because you know what, I was, when I was a Christian, I strongly believe in oneness of God. All the people, they believe that we have, it's called, in Arabic, it's fitra, innate nature. If you establish your faith, believe me, you will understand everything in your life, you know. So we have uh, our uh, special guest today, and uh, you are in the show Righteous Rich, where we simplify the speech of true love and passion for your work to know your creator, the creator who has uh, inspired you and uh, showed you the way to find out yourself. And when you find out yourself, when you discover yourself, that's where the game starts. So today we have a guest who is very close to me as well, Imran Hak Prince, who has uh, helped many people get connected with the spiritual compartment, which most of them keep it as separate one. But we will get to know whether it is a separate thing like other areas of life or it has to be a central thing in your life. So let us know from him directly a little bit about himself. He's already famous in Bahrain and uh, around the world. Many people know him, but we will know from him what he is doing and uh, what he can uh, add today. Uh, okay. Um, by the way, my name is Imran. I'm from the Philippines. And I am uh, engineering by profession. I'm an engineer by profession, but I'm working as educator. So it's called Islamic educator under by Discover Islam. So I am now 13, 15 years here in Bahrain. So I am uh, 14 years as being a Muslim. You know, I'm a reverted Muslim. So Alhamdulillah, it's by the grace of Allah. So you're kind of a spiritual teacher. Yeah, currently yeah, I'm working as Islamic educator. So inspiring mm. people, to help people, to educate people, to know about the, their purpose, why they are here in this world, you know. So I'm helping them to build connection to the mm. creator basically mm. i'm introducing the creator the oneness of god mm. because you know what i was when i was a christian i strongly believe in oneness of god all the people they believe that we yes. have it's called in arabic it's fitra innate nature it's called innate nature that we believe we connected we already connected to him but the problem is how we grow up how how our family raised us yeah. you know so if you if you are in the Philippines, like Philippines is a Christian country, so your family they will raise you according their according their belief, according the culture. So if you are in in the in in like in India or like in Thailand, so they will raise you according their culture, according mm -hmm. their race. So now here, so when I working here in Bahrain, alhamdulillah, and I believe, and this is my destiny that Allah He brought me here, and to help people. So I discovered something here in Bahrain. Uh, basically, I'm not here just only for work. And I believe there is a, a purpose behind that. So Alhamdulillah, now I found, uh, I found my purpose. So I want to, in, to, in, to share it to, to other people. Yeah. How, la, how Islam changed my life. So mm -hmm. how we uh, connect to our creator. This is a very important in our life, especially nowadays we are facing a lot of trouble, pandemic. Mm. So it's really, we need... So trouble in the sense, uh, you think there's suffering which is going on around the world, especially the time right now which is yeah. going on, it's, it's a disaster everywhere. Exactly. So this kind of suffering, the injustice is going on everywhere. What is the solution for this? In my own, uh, okay, I'm not, I'm own. not a scholar. I'm not, uh, you know, 
and I'm not a professional like other people like you know uh, for me in my own opinion so the solution of what we are facing nowadays is to build your connection to your creator because we depend um, at the end of the day we will call him because he's the controller of the universe he's the controller of all the creation he's the one who will control us he everything is by permission by the creator so we need to connect ourselves we need to ask him you need to ask help okay whatever our worries whatever our problem that we are facing nowadays trouble tribulation whatever so we have to call our creator and he's the one who can solve us mm -hmm. so god almighty he want us to call him he might miss our voice so that's the reason why we are facing a lot of problems nowadays in a different part of the world you know especially we are facing pandemic so this is a sign that allah he want is calling us okay he's calling us to to connect with him this is a very important so based on my experience i'm not worrying about what will have what happened in the world even for myself i'm always ready mm. yes i'm ready i all i believe that everything is by permission of god by the permission of our creator so now what is what would happen so like our enemy we don't know who's our enemy anywhere we can we can you know the virus is anywhere so for me i never worry about that i'm always asked to almighty god to protect me and he's the one a protect he's a protector mm, so mm, definitely mm. he will protect me wherever i go even the virus is behind me so i'm not worried there because if i am protected by god nothing but, will happen but you are me. taking your precautions yes of course so yeah god he bless us with wisdom and knowledge yes yeah so we use that you know that's why yeah. in our journey in our life journey so we need to strive we need to discover something we need to educate ourselves yeah. and god almighty he said that you will discover me from my creation so that's mm. why we use all the creation of god in order to in order us to mature enough to our decision making to discover something to learn many things in order and then don't forget our purpose why we are here because if you have that purpose your life will be run smoothly you know mm -hmm. so this is based on my experience i'm not saying that i don't know how uh how about the other faith but for me mm. i believe if i ha i believe that you know if i have an experience you know like this so i have to share to everyone because we, we 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 need this kind of faith we need this faith we need to share this faith because our intention is to help people mm. at the end of the day our dream is to enter paradise right mm -hmm. we we believe in the hereafter mm. we believe so our life here in this world is temporary and we will end our life sooner or later maybe uh, you and me understood the point that the solution for this is discovering ourselves having purpose in our life and uh, knowing your creator now point comes here is why this suffering does this suffering end or everyone gets their share because it's unfair sometimes if you think about it it's unfair to see a mother losing her son and it's unfair to see their family losing their uh, loved ones and it's unfair to see the way it is going on with the rich and the poor there is a lot of uh differentiation happening so how do we you know handle this and understand this if we believe in hereafter then it makes sense but why do we believe that kind of uh, hereafter stuff yani yeah i understand yeah you know what we have to understand you know the f we have to bring the very basic to understand like to establish your faith first because if you have that if you establish your faith believe me you will understand everything in your life you know what's why why happened why there is a poor why there's a rich why is why is it um like i lost my family uh, why is it this uh, uh is still not you know, his life is very good so you will understand that this is a part of faith you know it's like to believe in free knowledge and free destiny everything is planned by god and everything is willed by god and you have to know that you will believe this if you establish your faith if you don't have faith to your creator if you have problem of your faith you cannot 
you will not you will if you if there's any if you lose from your family or if you have any problem you encountered you will you know you will blame anyone you will blame your creator you will blame the situation nowadays so what happened nowadays i always say ah, this is will by god this is uh, destiny by god so it's easily accepted you know even it is hard for us even for my you know my 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 daughter she cannot go out so she cannot go out she want to go out she want to you, you know the life it's not normal nowadays but my family me i you know i 100% we accepted the situation we embraced the situation so we embraced that because of our faith because i i believe that god this is by the permi this is permission by god so this is what my advice to everyone that we need to establish our faith first and foremost and then if you have that faith believe me you will not worry everything your life will f goes or you know your life will uh, you know will become like smooth. smooth with peace and harmony you know tranquility and this is the definition of way of life you know islam the islam means w peace tranquility once you submitted yourself to him to almighty god if you surrender yourself if you obey his commandment definitely you will attain peace so this is what my advice to to everyone so we have to establish first the faith that's why it is not easy if you grow you know like me it took how many months to establish that when i studied when i came here in Bahrain, when i was in philippines i thought that i i already have that faith i claim myself yeah i i you know as a christian i uh, i'm going to the church i'm reading the bible i thought that this is enough this is a, no it is not enough you have to allah bless us with knowledge and wisdom so it is easy to understand the the purpose the creator to, to to know our creator so using by the logic you know using by the common sense common sense using by your reasoning uh, experience we will discover our creator like for example how you the creator is only one and he is the creator we know the creator is the the almighty god he the one is the most powerful god and he the one who will he give life to us and he the one who will take our life and all the creation will worship to the creator so why you will worship the creation so if you will ask yourself you are worshiping the creator or you are worshiping the creation and you have to define what it means worship so some people they don't know what it means worship they said that worship if you are calling god it is called a worship yeah this is only one part but when you say worship everything what you what you do you have to put god as the middle post god as your foundation and how you you recognize god as your creator don't don't uh, recognize god as like a creation because god you cannot compare a creation like what my faith before when i was christian i um i thought of course i thought jesus jesus was uh, a creator was god i considered jesus christ as god this is the fact okay this is the creed of a christian and then also i thought jesus christ is a part of god so when i realized that if i will not if i will not change this faith how like i am ignoring god and it not, this is the reason why I don't have peace. I claim that I, I claim myself that I have peace, but in fact, no. It's my life. It's still, you know, it is like a tree without roots. That if if the wind will goes to the east, you will go to the east. If you go to the west, if you go to the west, there is no any uh, direction. But if you have a strong foundation, if you know the Creator, and you know what your purpose, you know your direction. No, 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 nobody can, even if they will say, go in this side, go in the right side, go in the other side. But you will focus on your purpose because I strongly believe in the creator and he is my God, my creator, and I am his creation. Definitely, I will worship him. So whatever his commandment, I will follow. So how I know his commandment? The revelation. So definitely, the, we, need, we need the revelation. Yeah, the revelation, like like a mobile phone if you if you will choose a mobile phone without if you don't know how to use the mobile phone so you will use what 
in order to educate you to use the mobile phone. Of course, you need a manual, right? So you have so to check definitely, your instructions. Yeah, we are a creation. God created us. So we need a manual in order how we connect with Him. So that manual and that is called the revelation. And that revelation will reveal to His servant. Okay, and that is called prophet and messenger. So definitely our role model to become a good person, to become a good human being, we have to follow our role model. And that is called prophets. So it's clear. It's, it makes sense. But still, if you see, like, honey, that's, uh, the question I started with you is just suffering and all these things can be resolved when you have fixed your internal most important stuff in your life. Yani. If, you're, uh, if your central life, uh, understanding your creed or your faith, if that is not fixed, it, it is clear that you cannot, you cannot fix anything outside. Exactly. I, yeah, I, 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 I will stand on what, what I said earlier. You have to establish faith. You know, this is a very basic solution. You know, you have to study first. If you don't have faith right now, so you have to search. You have, no, don't, don't stagnate your life, you know. So you have to do something. As what God said, you will find me from my creation. Look at the, you know, if you look, if you go out in this room, Look, all the creation of God. You will realize there's a designer. So who's that designer? God. So I need to establish, I need God. I need God in my life. But calling God, calling God, it is not enough. You have to discover about the name and attributes of God. Know Him. Yeah, you have to know Him. Because you like, for example, if you want, like for example, if I will consider you as my best friend, uh, definitely I will know you, your background, because I want to be close to you. So if you love, you know, if you love your creator, you have, you, you must be, you be obsessed to, you know, mm. to know your creator, to discover about him. Because the more you will discover him, the more you will be connected, the more you will be closer to him, and the more you will find your purpose closer little by little, you know, gradually, mm. you will feel the tranquility, you will feel, you cannot... You cannot imagine. You will, you, will, you will surprise the blessings, you know, from God. You will surprise also the protection, you know. You will feel any, you know, you will forget your problem. Even, you know, the problem is all behind us, but you will not think about that because you will focus on the Creator, how I will, I, how my Creator will make, be happy. I want Him to be happy. So what I will do? So what's my what I will do? So you will you will do program the best yourself. Things. You yeah. will organize yourself. Exactly. You will say you will know what uh, which is good, which is bad. So I have to practice which is good, and I will try to eliminate the something the that, unnecessary things. Yes, the unnecessary things. Something that God Almighty don't like, doesn't like. You kind of having your program and yes. set for the uh, b boundaries are set for yourself. Exactly. So how you will do that? How you will connect that? Start with, start with reading. Yeah. Yes, reading. That's the reason why we have. You know, we are the highest level of animals. You know, Allah bless us with intellect. Yeah. Intelligence. So Allah loves us. You know, explore His creation. Use the use our. You know now. Nowadays, God Almighty, He approved it, many innovations. You know, we are in the world of innovations. So the social, I'm, I'm talking about the social issue, you know. I'm not talking about the, the worship, you know, the, like the computer, like the, you know, Google. It's now available, okay. Even if you are in the house, you know, you can search for the purpose of life, okay. Who is the creator? Who exactly? What it means, uh, what it means the creator and the creation, so what is this revelation on who's that prophet? So all this question, you have to search it in the Google. You have to read it or you have to ask. If someone knows that, you can ask. So everything is available nowadays. Even if you live in an area, even if you live in a jungle, if you live in an island, still you can hear the message of God. Because why? Because we are in the world of innovation. God Almighty, because of His mercy, He approved everything, but we know how to limit ourselves. So, uh, you have raised a re really important question for me to ask you. Uh, when you said, knowing your friend, 
it means you it's kind of uh, a relationship so what kind of relationship we should have with him and what exactly you are talking about i believe that to to show your love to your creator you have to you have to obey his commandment you know you have to obey and this is what how god almighty will be happy if he if he if he know that my slave is doing his obeying my commandment we can you know how you can obey his commandment without establishing faith again we will go back again to establish faith that's the reason why i've always After emphasized you fix it yeah, yeah establish faith once you establish faith you have to work out in how to discover to to connect your creator mm. you know to to read like to if you know now available you know to read the, the revelation reading the revelation i'm talking about the quran i'm talking about the last revelation you know the final revelation the final review if you read that you will discover the commandment of god so allah he taught us in what is what to do and what is prohibited okay and now and also he give us a good news about in the hereafter and he give us a warning in this world you know okay and then he he also show uh, he he revealed also the story of the prophets in order to inspire us because God Almighty, He wants us to be, to 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 inspired our role model, our the prophets. So, if you really love your Creator, show that you really love Him. You know, not just only by lip service. You have to by your action, prove yourself that you really love your Creator. How you have to connect, communicate to your Creator. So you know, connection. You have to understand what it really means, connection direct connection communication and that is called literal it's called prayer so to have you know to establish prayer it will help you to connect your creator yeah that's this is a, this is how you build your love for god yeah. the question comes why should we build our uh, love for god because when we build love for god he makes things easy for us isn't it Yes, 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 yes. Definitely, he will guide us. He will guide our way. What to do? You know, we are controlled by God. He's a controller of all the creation. He's a controller of the heart. You know, he will control us. So, like for example, if you have, if you will call him, oh, I'll go, oh God, guide me. Okay, um, control my desire. You know, so he the one who will control your desire. Even you like to do something that it is haram. It is not. Uh, supposed to be not to do it but you are asking god the protection you know to control you so you will you know by the power of god you know he will control you he will pull you out from that the things that not supposed to do you know so the very important is to is to have that faith to have that faith that god is a protector and he is the one who controlled us so we have you know because god is an unseen reality you know you have to believe the unseen reality you know if you don't have faith if you don't have faith you will not say oh i don't see God. i want something that i you can see you can see in yeah. order i will believe in order yeah. i will yeah. obey yeah no in the definition of faith you have to believe the unseen reality and that is called you know the born the faith that you don't see but seems like you see you know that seems like that the god almighty is watching you all the time so you have to behave you have to do something if you don't know ask god what i will do because he will guide you if you don't know anything you have to ask something you have to ask you have to ask somebody you have you have to read you have to know it. to know you have to search and then by the guidance of god he will guide you which is good for you so this is what based on my experience do you know this is how i handle myself when i discovered this truth you know when i discovered my purpose why i am here to connect i connected alhamdulillah by praise be to allah so i feel you know complete you know this is the missing part of my life you know it seems like i am struggling you know i'm Alhamdulillah, and the end of my journey, mm, okay, mm, when mm. I came here in Bahrain, then I, I, I found the missing piece of my life, and that is called Islam, you know, when I found Islam, seemed like I'm totally complete. 
Mm. I found, mm. you know, mm. I feel the tranquility. I, I cannot feel this. I cannot, you know, I cannot feel it when I was, you know, when I was in the Philippines. You know, when I, you know, seem like I, I give you an example. If you love something that is really important to you, and it lost me long time, and suddenly, and suddenly, when you, you get it, you found it. Yeah, yes. So, like, you know, what is your feeling? So the, the the feeling of completeness. So it's like an over. You can't describe that feeling. This is what I feel when I found Islam. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. when I found my purpose to create, to 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 connect myself to the Creator. So I found the tranquility. You know, this tranquility that it's not just a normal peace we are calling peace, but this is like inner peace. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tranquility that you believe that this peace will help. It will build my 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 personality you know it will change my life 360 degree so alhamdulillah when i started i said i want to so i now i discovered god so i want him to be happy so how to start mm -hmm. so even i don't one know thing to... was you found him now after finding you have how to start the maintenance thing yeah. yes the maintenance, maintenance program to, maintain, to, keep, to keep you in the truck and yeah, yeah. yeah. don't lose your mind you yeah. don't, don't you lose yourself don't lose that love, the blessings from uh, the Creator. Yes, you already. The moment that you, you embrace the truth, you know. Tell so, tell us about that feeling you yes. had, yeah. Because when you said, can you really describe it? Yeah, the feeling. The feeling when you got this. This is the goal. you can. The the only the only people can understand me. The people who embrace that, you know, because we are the same feeling. But you know, to sh to to share it to you it is hard to say it hard by by word to say it i don't know how to explain there is no such word to explain that because mm. it is a feeling you know and you cannot describe that but only i can say it's a completeness you know it's a feeling of completeness it's a missing puzzle that i found the missing part of my life and i feel complete you know and that is called islam so now how to maintain that so now i am 13 14 years as being a Muslim, so how to maintain my 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 faith? Must be you are in the healthy environment, you know, in the first place. You know, if you are in the healthy environment, definitely we cannot say this is a perfect life, but gradually you will grow. Like the the good thing when I embrace Islam, some people, you know, some people surround me, you know, I be uh, I I I close myself, you know, I. I met some people who's willing to help me. And then, alhamdulillah, I said that uh, I am a new Muslim. I am a new Muslim, so I want to grow. So they help me. So people out there, they are willing to help you. So just to prove you that you are sincere, you know, that you are dedicated to change. So, and then praying five times, okay, it is also a big impact, you know. To maintain my, you know, even I don't know how to pray, but I used to, I used to go to the masjid. So I love to see, I, I love to meet with my, with my co-Muslims. I want to meet them, you know. So every time when I, I meet them there, so I have a chance, you know, a lot of people will ask me, oh, you are a new Muslim, you are, I th seem like you are a new Muslim, especially I am only one uh, Filipino in my place when I embrace Islam, I remember when I pray in the masjid, I'm only Filipinos praying on that masjid. So people's coming to me and, oh, are you a new Muslim? I say, yeah. And then they will start hugging me, you know, they will, they will, some, they will cry. I said, how you, you know, how, how you found, uh, what is, can you share your journey? I said, yeah, actually I studied, I studied uh, Islam. So basically this is my uh, journey and I found, and Logically, I accepted I accepted Islam based on what I research, you know. And plus, the 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 vision God He gave me a vision, and that vision it helped me, you know. And I believe, and this is how Allah, because I discovered many things. But when Allah gave me a vision, so I cannot say no. So I easily I accepted that. So Alhamdulillah, now uh, when when continuous learning. Okay, in, in Islamic Center, so I engage myself with the with Discover Islam. Alhamdulillah, they are helping me to you know to attending the class, 
And then after that, when I completed the first level, and then uh, I upgrade myself, and I discovered something about educating people. Mm. You know, educating people to know about, to share your experience. Because now you have it. Yeah. Now you want to share it. Yes, that's why I already say, oh, I already established my faith and I practice it. So I want to share it to, to those people who don't, doesn't know about, about the truth. So I started with my wife. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I started with my family. Yeah. I started with my family. So I, because you know how you can do, how you can go outside educating people without educating your family. Yeah, yeah. You know? So the first, the first person, okay, uh, I shared about my, my faith, my wife. Alhamdulillah, my wife, she accepted. Okay, she accepted uh, Islam. And then followed by the, the sister of my wife. And then, and then the rest of uh, family member and even the people who uh, my, my close friend, some of my friends also, they embrace that. And then I really inspired, you know, I said that, oh, I seem like I have a potential. You know, I have a potential. I have um, this kind of uh, talent. Maybe God, he want me to, he mm. want me to be an inspiration to everyone, to the people. So I, I studied this kind of how to propagate and how to educate effectively to the people. Mm. So that's the reason why I said that I, I need to study online. So I, <laughs> that's why I found that the, mm. the, the methodology. Mm. So I... You know what? If you don't have this kind of method, like you were, yeah, you can call yourself as an educator, but you know, seem like you are in a in a buffet. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of food, but you can you you know if you will taste it, but you will not appreciate. If you will ask you which is the the best food, you cannot say this is the best food. This is the best food because you know there's a lot of dishes displayed. But if you know how to organize, how to share with people. So it, it will end smoothly. Definitely, it's easy for you to, to invite people. The people will definitely believe you. And then it will say, oh, yeah, it really makes sense because the way how you educate us, to get me, it is like a systematic way that from the, from, from the purpose of life, the oneness of God, and then, then the, 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 the revelation, Introducing the role model, our role model, prophet, our beloved prophets, and then invite them. So, if you will invite them, so it's either they will reject you, or it, they will accept you, right? Or some people they will say, "No, I'm not ready, so I need to study more." So definitely, you have to invite. So when I discover this, when you educate, when educating people, you have to convey the message, and then. Don't forget to invite them because in inviting them, you will know their decision. And then the decision is from Almighty God because God Almighty, He is the one who can guide us. Yes, you cannot Not, force anybody. Yes, you cannot, you force, cannot anybody. force anybody. Yeah. So the, our duty, our duty is to convey the message. But this is the uh, duty of our uh, yeah. work of every prophet. Or educating people, it is an obligatory to us because nowadays, who will educate people? Just serving, just serving is not enough, I think, yes. because uh, if you're going to someone, uh, if you're, you, you don't tell them about this, the reality, because the mental health problem around the world, it's too much. It's increasing every day. And those who have uh, the knowledge of the worldly knowledge also, I'm not talking of the spiritual knowledge, keeping spiritual knowledge aside. The worldly knowledge is not giving them uh, that peace of mind, the tranquility they are looking for, the completeness you said about the mental health. It, it has become commercial also now that people are not able to reach out to right people and, and they are not really recovering themselves. Uh, so I also firmly believe that having spiritual knowledge, firstly, just know your creator. Just know your creator. I think this is the first step you can do it. Then you will get to know where you have to you know, direct yourself, get the guidance to work on. So uh, you have shared, just to summarize, like Yanni, you have shared about the importance of faith. Knowing your creator is also important. And uh, all the suffering, all these problems can be resolved if you know the basic 
fundamentals of your life so you have shared any your own uh, experience on this the feeling is cannot be described one has to really work on that and uh, so before we uh, conclude uh, i just wanted to uh, check one more question with you that is this the final uh, success we have to look for or this is where the freedom one can get it is this a real freedom in our life we have to uh, find out yes i definitely yeah um having this faith i consider this a success you know it's a great success you know uh you will call yourself as being a successful believer you know a successful believer because you know what success you know if we can define success you know success uh to to work hard okay of what you what you dream or what is your goal and to be grateful to the creator so this is how i define success to work hard you you have your aim you have your goal and work 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 it on okay yeah and then you have to be grateful whatever you have so whatever whatever is your goal in life whatever is your goal in life you have faith to god and then whatever you will receive from god is so good or bad you have to be grateful to him and that is called success we cannot measure the success to become rich like if you are a rich here so you consider yourself as a successful person if you have a millionaire you can call yourself a success no success we can define success if you are successful in the hereafter this world definitely it is a short time if you come for in the short uh, hereafter you know if you are a famous if you are a rich in this world but if you have an spirit you are filled in a spiritual aspect you still have emptiness in your heart still not complete believe me if you are if you are only poor people you know if you don't have anything you're just a simple person but you have a con- you have this faith to almighty god you know if you have a connection to him you will not worry about this world you always think about in the in the hereafter because you know in the hereafter if you measure the, our life here it's nothing you know yes. it is nothing we will live all whatever we have in this dunya but does it mean if you have faith you will not work you have to work you know you we love to be rich you know even me even you okay all of us we are working in this dunya to have a better life you know that's the reason why i am here in bahrain you know all the way I'm from the philippines you know i'm i traveled here in bahrain just for for what of course i want also an other definition i want to improve my life i want to have a good life i to because i uh, i cannot yes to help my family to help myself you, you know but i'm talking about success in this world and in the hereafter so this is how to balance it is like a bird you know there's a wings you know left and right and you have a focal point you know in the center so same put god as the center and work in this dunya and also in the akhirah so it's just like about you it must be working both you know together you're working for dunya and also working for akira it's like uh, you have uh, another country you have to go some day but for that you need to uh, gather enough currency which is good deeds yeah and that currency we have to go there then only it will be exchanged <laughs> <laughs> that we can use it yeah, there yeah exactly so, that's a good example so the, so so we need to work really hard now just sit and say i'm really happy that uh, god is there and he is uh, he is the creator i just got to know that he is there so it doesn't mean that you stop there yeah right you are absolutely right about this so thank you so much about uh, the what you have shared today of course we will have more of conversations in future but for now i have to like keep it like any to the point for today's uh, session and uh, i wish i could continue more and more because <laughs> when you discuss more this is what i like any yeah. when you are having the dialogue with the person who has been working for like 10 to 15 years on that yeah. if he is just you know breaking it down and making it very simple for us to understand the passion which you have for this uh, you know teaching this uh, uh, the knowledge which you have uh, received and the the knowledge which you want to give it to others so that people will become better better in their life and know their creator that makes things easy for others 
this is the beauty of this work which we are also doing it whether it is going to people by yourself or try to make uh, in a such a way that everyone gets a chance to know about it you know we have to find out all the possible uh, you know uh, media so that we can reach out to people so this is something which you you and me we came here uh, together to just just discuss this i, I i'm 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 just like thinking about the person who is going to watch us or listen to us if he really has any questions or any doubts trust me there are people already around the world if you just ask them what it is really about and compare your understanding with the, the scriptures you will definitely understand what are you looking for what is your purpose in your life and same way if you have anything to uh, you know uh, you know get the clarification from us from today's session you can always reach out to us uh, you can reach out to imran follow him and uh, if, uh, if 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 possible try to share your doubts and questions so that we can clarify to you and so that you can get to know what he is knowing and the passion which he has for that knowledge and the creator you will also have that experience trust me that experience is uh, beautiful even if you have a suffering you still are content you are still in peace you know so this is something different so before that i completely conclude uh, i have a rapid question yeah you understand rapid round questions yeah. you okay reply it in a short or one word so family family important okay which is important yes uh, everyone i i think i am also i also believe that it's important and uh, your daughter especially my daughter my sweetheart <laughs> okay so faith for you in what word important is it important my foundation yeah foundation it's not what word to word okay foundation yeah, it's a foundation yeah. yes secret in life secret secret in life for allah yeah for allah <laughs> oh yeah yeah this is a secret in life so the different between me and the creator yeah yeah it, whatever it, is nobody knows yeah, yeah 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 this is secret in life trust 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 in allah <laughs> everything <laughs> <in> god. is god <laughs> yeah trust in god you know and everything will be smooth what is work for you work is work what is work work it's my it's my purpose you know it's my purpose uh, it's one of my um you know yeah it's my one of my purpose because you know you have to work work for what you have to work for yourself to discover to to, to discover your purpose of life so this definitely now it's my work it's to 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 help people Yes. To, in, to, to enlighten people to discover their purpose it, so this is how I define it changes form. what is righteousness for you yeah to be right to apply it yeah 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 apply it in our daily action you know love for the sake of god yeah love yeah yeah show your love to your creator and of course show your love to your creator and uh, people around to your you. family and of course love your creator to love your our beloved prophets and to love your family and loved ones and the rest of the people yes thank you so much we had a very good session today of course it was very short we could have continued and of course this is going to be like in the first one but maybe we will have many more sessions coming soon and we will discuss more deeper things more deeper things about you and uh, and work which you understood maybe we will discover some good ideas yeah. so we can help others to know really what exactly they have to really focus on and don't miss out anything uh, in their life which they should be really trying it out thank you so much imran hak prince my dear It's brother my pleasure and uh, those who are watching make sure you are following us and uh, hitting the button subscribe and keep watching us stay tuned we have more guests to come and thank you so much